hello friends in this video we are going to edit the product page like how we can uh, add a new block over here so let's get started how we can add a new block over here use how we can edit the product description template of magento let's go ahead how we can do that okay so first of all what we have go to your app design front end my theme is this one so here we have and let's me op let me open the another one that is i have already implemented this magento catalog you need to just copy uh, you have you can also take the folder from the vendor directory and you can create magento underscore catalog where we need to override the template or add the template so i'm going to paste it magento catalog we have the layout the category catalog category it's catalog category view.xml so it's basically overriding the category xml we need to do the product xml so let's begin with it so i have the actually i have already ready so what we have to do we have to go to the view front end layout and uh, catalog product view.xml we need to create it so I'm just going to copy it. Magento catalog layout. We need going to create a new catalog product view XML. For category, you need to use this template. For product, you need to use catalog product view dot XML. I'm going to open it. And now I'm going to paste what we have. We have this XML for overriding this adding this page okay so i'm just going to add it reference block form content after form content vendor what's my vendor name and extension block here we have to add this extension magento Here we need to put vendor extension and this vendor and uh, name of the extension catalog product view dot html if you want to add you can get to add it over here okay next what is the next step next step is you need to create a view dot html in vendor extension so i'm going to create this vendor and extension over here so let's assume to be vendor so uh, vendor app so i'm going to create uh, let's use this app so i'm going to code mm, i'm going to create this i'm going to create an um, we can use any of them also i'm using hello world okay so here is view also is there in view we know to create a front end view front end after that we have templates get new folder templates after templates we need to go catalog catalog after that we have need to go for product here we need to create a view.phtml here because we here we have mentioned vendor extension catalog product view.phtml so i'm going to create view.phtml over here here we have view.phtml now i'm going to open it and add the content So we have put you need to remove this h2 tag no i think it's work is it's php tag completed yeah it's completed 
here i am trying to call the block id of the let's see let me comment this part because uh, i haven't created this part in the block section so i'm just going to comment it first okay h2 i'm just writing in h2 any text section okay view html is completed now what we have the next we have to view dot PHT block oh we forget to change this what my vendor extension that is back soul what is extension that is hello world And we are going to just do the replacement underscore hello world so this part we have done with it it is below the add to cart button okay so this is done what next we have left block catalog product so we have to go to the hello world we have to create a new block catalog here you can like block it's not required but if you want to like do the uh, product catalog collection over from here to there you can do that manipulation also so that you can call the block over here catalog product i'm going to create view.php Created over here. I'm going to paste this. We need to add soul and extension. So my extension is completed. Let's run the commands and close the unnecessary tabs. Just running the commands.
is the last command then we are good to go I'm going to add it So now this is the last that I'm going to run it. Let's check the product page. What's happening over here? It is empty. Something I think we need to enable the debug mode to check what's happening. dot php I need to enable that php rs why it's showing blank unexpected end if so let's check where we have put unexpected end if so I'm going to delete this part that part also and that's it let's check I think again we this see this is coming over here let me re, uh, deploy the content again because there is a less issue I guess maybe they are doing the same thing let's upgrade it one more time and see otherwise next time I need to set set this because whatever we have added you can see it's there under the add to before the add to cart we have already added this uh, functionality let's check why the CSS is not loading then we can come to the point
Maybe that was the issue of the font family font names again there it has the issue that was a CSS is miscompiled and all maybe that is an issue and I will fix later on in my myself I think the issue is the CSS only the CSS is miscompiled and all I think this is a less issue I guess it says compilation from source app design image plus simple web style not under server variable and that form family name second is undefined in the file that's the reason the CSS is not properly sh shown Let's check. I think the issue is with that. Maybe the issue is that the CSS part on it. And what we have to achieve, we have already achieved this. Here we can edit the part of that one. So this way we can edit the product description page, add any HTML or blog. Here you can call anything. Like product collection, product page, product static block, identifier, whatever you can call over it. We can continue this video in the next one. How we can call the static block or block or page over there. So keep up with us and I will update you regarding this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a